Hey guys, what's up? It's Gretchen from Gretchen's Vegan Bakery and today I'm going to show you how to make a vegan hummingbird cake. This is actually the shortened version from the original video that Jason and I filmed together. So if you are not one of those people who is interested in our super long, super talkative video, then this is definitely the version for you. Of course, if you do want to check out the chaos that ensued on our first video back working together after four years, then click the link below for the full version. But right now I'm going to get right to the recipe start to finish in five minutes or less so that you can get right to baking this awesome cake. Hummingbird cake is a very moist banana pineapple cake that originated in Jamaica and became popular here in the U.S. in the late 1970s. It is really easy to make and no mixer required. What you will need is flour, crushed pineapple, the zest of an orange, light brown sugar and white granulated sugar, baking powder and baking soda, a banana will be the egg replacer in this recipe and I'm adding cinnamon, nutmeg and salt for some really awesome spiced up flavor. This is an oil based recipe where I will be cutting some of that fat with applesauce but if you don't want to do that you can use the full amount of oil instead. Some vanilla extract and I'm also adding toasted pecans but those are optional if you don't like them or you're allergic to nuts. You will first want to get your super ripe banana pureed and then combine both sugars, the oil, applesauce together and just give it a good whisk. Now add the vanilla extract, the orange zest and then the banana puree and whisk it all together smooth. Next just sift the dry ingredients right into that bowl and then whisk it all together smooth. You'll add the pineapple and then the nuts and just fold it all together. Now divide your batter into your greased and parchment lined cake pans and bake in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 30 to 40 minutes depending on what cake size pan you're using or until they are springy to the touch when you gently press the centers. While the cake is baking I'm going to make a quick cream cheese icing by mixing sifted confectioner sugar with some vegan butter. Add in the vegan cream cheese, some almond extract and vanilla extract and then just mix it smooth. Once the cakes are fully baked and cooled completely you can get to filling and icing this cake with that cream cheese icing. Now I did actually use a buttercream icing for mine and again all the links are below and you could really just pick what you prefer. You could do all cream cheese if you like that better and I just wanted to do a naked cake style with that buttercream icing and some fresh flowers to decorate. But of course you can do it any way that you like. If you are using fresh flowers though be sure to dip the stem ends into some white chocolate. That just acts as a buffer between the flowers and the cake. And that's it guys, super easy hummingbird cake for your next event. As always, grab the written printable recipe at GretchensVeganBakery.com. Clickable links are in the description below this video. If you want to check out the long version of this recipe and then see Jason's reaction to this vegan cake, just click the links below and check out that. Definitely comment below and let me know which version you like better, if you really do like the banter between Jason and I or if you're just more of a quick get to the recipe kind of person. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. I will see you again soon. Until then, happy baking. Bye for now.